Lesson 5. Dopamine as your enemy. A dopamine release results in a feel-good spike. Drugs, sex, and exercise all lead to such a surge. However, contrary to common knowledge, dopamine has little to do with happiness. Dopamine is a mind-numbingly complex neurotransmitter that is directly related to addiction and motivation. One of the pathways it travels leads to the nucleus accumbens, which plays a significant role in how we perceive pleasure, aversion, reward, and reinforcement learning. In other words, a dopamine release triggers those feelings associated with that part of the brain. You experience its release each time you encounter a cue associated with a reward. The mere sight of a cue, say a cigarette, will increase the level of dopamine in the nucleus succumbens. Then it will produce a craving that, if not met, will lead to an unpleasant decrease in dopamine. In essence, your brain works against you, making you fixated on obtaining the reward signaled by the cue. What you get when you give in and satisfy the urge isn't happiness. It's just relief from the anxiety of not getting what your brain wants. How can you fight against dopamine's effects? Dopamine responds to thought, sight, smell, and taste, the cue. It's an impulse that encourages you to satisfy a craving right here, right now. As such, the effect of a dopamine rush is the strongest when its reward is right in front of you. The less available the reward is, the less you'll experience the dopamine rush so the more chances you have of resisting it. What's more important is to be aware of a dopamine rush and the cues that cause it. Self-awareness will help you mitigate the clouding effect of dopamine on your decision-making process. If you always cave to temptation when you see a chocolate bar on your desk, get it out of your sight. Even when you know it's there, even the mere roadblock of having to open a drawer can be enough to help you exert self-control. Better yet, get the chocolate bar out of your house entirely and reward yourself only when you schedule it. If you're shopping, avoid wandering into the aisles with foods that will trigger your reward center. For increased self-discipline, eat before you go shopping to be less sensitive to the scents and sights of food both of which produce a dopamine surge. Dopamine seeks instant gratification, which is rarely aligned with your long-term goals. Fortunately, the mechanism that makes the temptation so irresistible gets weaker with time. Waiting to give in to a craving for even 10 minutes will reduce its intensity or even make it go away completely. How do you deal with a dopamine rush when you think about a cue? It all comes back to your big why from Lesson 2. Acknowledge your craving and let the feeling wander through your body. Then switch your attention to the reason why you're resisting it. For instance, look at yourself in the mirror and observe the changes in your appearance. Will it be worth it to lose the results you've seen to satisfy your craving? No matter what you do, don't obsess about letting go of the thought of the temptation. Just like saying, don't think about a pink elephant, will make you think about one, so will, don't think about cake, keep you thinking about a sweet, tasty cake, or whatever else you're trying to avoid. If you can't overcome the temptation, try to mitigate the negative effects of giving in by coming up with a different way to give your brain what it craves. For instance, Replace milk chocolate with healthier dark chocolate, or try to satisfy the craving for french fries with a baked potato. Whichever method you choose, don't let dopamine, as the enemy, win and undo your goals.